we need to round the numbers below to the nearest whole number. So first we have 2.3. To round to the nearest whole number, we need to find our ones digit, which is always the digit before the decimal point. Then, to see whether we're rounding up or down, we underline the next digit, so the tenths digit. We can see that 3 is less than 5, which means that we're rounding down. That means the 2 stays the same, so our answer is 2. 2.3 to the nearest whole number is 2. And we can see on a number line that 2.3 is between the whole numbers 2 and 3. But it's closer to 2, so we round down to 2. Now we have 3.9. So to round to the nearest whole number, we circle the ones digit and look at the tenths. We have 9 tenths, and remember, if the digit is 5 or more, we're rounding up. So 3.9 rounds to 4. And we can see on a number line that 3.9 is closer to 4 than it is to 3, so we're rounding up to 4. Now we have 7.08. This time there are two digits after the decimal point, but that doesn't matter. We do the same thing. We find our ones digit and we look to our tenths, and it doesn't matter what comes after the tenths digit, because to decide whether we round up or down, we only look to the place value to the right, so to the tenths. Now we have a zero, which means we're rounding down, so the seven stays the same, so 7.08 to the nearest whole number is seven. And we can see on a number line that 7.08 is between the whole numbers 7 and 8, and what we have labelled with the squares are tenths. Now 7.08 is just a little bit less than 7.1, so you can see that it's clearly closer to 7 than it is to 8. Finally, we have 5.544, so we have three digits after the decimal point, but that doesn't matter because we still do the same thing. We find our ones digit and look at our tenths digit. Because we have five or more, we have five tenths, we know that we're rounding up. So 5.544 rounds to six. And we can see on a number line that 5.544 is between five and six, and it's also between 5.5 .5 and 5.6.